Alright guys, this is Dogm and I'm playing Diablo 3 and it's the start of my let's play. And yeah, I did a quick video where I asked you guys for character choices, classes and yeah, there were two classes that were mentioned most first of all, Witch Doctor and Monk. Um, both of them are very interesting characters and I have to make up my mind. The Necromancer gameplay here seems pretty pretty interesting with the witch doctor and he can do all kinds of crazy stuff so you can see spells um, yeah a wide range um, of offensive spells so I don't think that's interesting right so I think we go for that witch doctor and of course his name is Doc M <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dog. <coughs> it's just dog, right? Me. Um, <coughs> in case you wonder, you could quickly have a look at the female characters of the barbarian, which, yeah, that's a Valkyr. Demon hunter, female, male, monk. Female monk. Mm. The male monk, of course. The witch doctor, why female and male. Both pretty cool. The wizard here. And it's female and male form. Awesome, but yeah, I think we gotta be the witch doctor. Let's get going. Alright. Now you can go to the auction house. I showed you that in a short video. Feel free to check it out if you want to know more about that. And there's public games. You could join public games. But we're going to do our own game here. Going to play normal difficulty. And let's get it going. jungles of my youth. My knowledge has grown vast. The people, they think me banished, shunned to the end of my days. They say I defy the spirits, but I say no. Spirits show me alone that the Skyfire is where the end begins. They say this must not be. I live to serve the spirits. So I go. There is none but me to answer the call. Well, and here we go. And yeah, the main attacks of the witch hunter, um, or the witch doctor, is this blowgun here in the beginning. It's a range attack, and you got the melee attack with our melee weapon. We don't have anything yet going on. This is the inventory screen. This is just our health potion. And yeah, you got a quick slot below where you can trigger your different attacks. Q would, for example, um, yeah, trigger this instant health potions. This is the quest and journals, and here you can see the main menu of the different areas. There's achievements, interesting, different achievements. Yeah, if you join a cooperative games and so on. Classes, if you play them all, challenges, crafting lots of um, achievements to collect but we should get into the action and yeah witch doctor gameplay gonna be fairly interesting if you want to use your blowgun you cannot just hover your mouse over it 
you have to keep a certain distance and then activate it. But yeah, the witch doctor is more like a range character, melee character. Um, are different ones, for example, the barbarian or I don't know, the monk, he gets in close. This guy is more like the spirits yeah, tell me distance, go, seek the writing dead the fallen star. spells. And so I am here. It fell on the old cathedral. Yeah. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We yeah, you saw it. Uh, when you look at the intro, you see <coughs> the armies of dead are coming back, the armies of hell. And Fallen Star dropped on the cathedral, on the chapel. You know that already. All of you who played Diablo before are familiar with the story. A bit. I've never seen anyone fight. If like not, well, I, no, I tell you a little bit. You'll find Leah at the slaughtered calf inn. All right, let's find Leah in there. Burn those corpses before they rise again. Let's talk to him. Dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. All right. So yeah, the background story is um, the, town's history than the Fallen Star, the sign of the return of Diablo again, and Deckard Cain. That's Liar's uncle. He basically is known from the parts one or two. And yeah, we got a blessing here. He is yeah doing research and he found out this is the merchant, by the way. Got nothing to buy and sell, sell yet. Yeah, um, so Liar is the niece of Deckard Cain and she's in trouble. She saw the falling star coming down. You see it in the beginning of the a game in the intro. Yeah, and there's Leah waiting for us. Let's you talk are Leah. To her. The captain says you survived the fallen star. I mm -hmm. did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. Mm -hmm. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but th watch out! The wounded are turning. Oh. You gotta keep moving with the character. Keep your distance. But this is this is the infight. You activate it with your right mouse button. This is killing business. And yeah, we are achieved a new level. So let's quickly yeah assign that. Uh, it's a new secondary skill, and it's the grasp of the death. You can yeah activate it, and the hands will basically tangle your enemies, and they will not be able to um, yeah go towards you, and you can easily dart them down. So that's pretty interesting. If you go back here, there's Leah's room, Leah's book. It's We've been lore. under siege for six days now. There's a lot of lore in Uncle Diablo. Is still which missing. is important for the story. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon. Quick loading times. If you go between rooms, let's talk the to Leah will again. Overwhelm us all unless something is done. True that. There is a deep sickness here. But it can be healed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. All right. So new quest here. Talk to Captain Rumford at the gate. This is the mayor here. <coughs> Please he blocks off the car. way. I wish to pass. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the mayor of this town. So you won't let us through. You should get back to the gate. Rumford was waiting for us. Here we are. How can I help to fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Mm -hmm. Their sacrifice saved their people. I will honor it. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. All right. They're attacking the barricades! They're coming from here. Let's try out our new spell. That is the zombie grasp here. We're able to stop them. They're snared. And then we can now take them out from a distance. Oh, this is the wretched mother. Needs more time. There. That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Yeah, now it's time to take out wretched mothers and yeah we're already getting our first stuff here we got a club and yeah we're gonna put that on 
it's a very bad armor but better than nothing and clubs and maces uh, we're gonna keep our ceremonial knife because it's a yeah witch doctor's weapon and it will give us some bonuses um, this one for example does two to three damage per second and has an attack speed of 1.2 so let's keep on moving you always have your mini map on top which is really helpful and we're backtracking here and reached old Tristam Road. You will see the enemies will drop health orbs. And I will never forget the first time I saw you know, these explain horrors shambling out of the misty woods. There's Our a reason that basically a zombie long ago rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. All right. Nothing much here, we found. And there's a bonus quest, so to speak. We need to kill the wretched mothers. There's one over there. Let's snare them. Taking some damage from them, but it's not too bad. And this wretched mother is gone. And yeah, we just need to. Our wretched queen. Check out the area a bit. And this is basically for now the gameplay of the monk, or of the witch doctor, you know. Tangle them, snare them, and then get your attacks. And later on, it's gonna get way more interesting, more powerful spells. And yeah, of course, um, controlling armies of dead that will help you. Um, yeah, the dead bodies of the enemy drives your attack here. And we got. This has a pretty quick cooldown to tangle if you look at it. It goes fairly quick. But for those standard. Zombies, we don't need it if there's not too many. Okay, let's go for a fight here. It's funny, they, the bodies keep on moving. You have an empty equipment slot. Yeah, I could put stuff down there. Let's have a look at the people. Oh, and we found a simple dagger. <coughs> Already starting to build up some inventory <laughs> rats running by. And it's really important in the game, you know, to search everything, check out everything. And we found a uh, first magic item. Here we go, it's magic gloves. And it gives you a better chance to fight magical items, and it's pretty useful in the beginning. We got this dagger here. Um, yeah, would uh, do more damage if you're in in fight, but at the moment we're not really using that. So yeah, there's some shoes we could put on as well. It would already give us some defense. Those are not any special or rare items or anything. We'll find them later on in the game, and if you kill certain bosses, you will get it. You know, from rare as rare item drops. There's legendary items, there's unique items, and those, of course, um, later on, would be worth a lot of money in the auction halls. You know, if you have some very rare items, maybe even unique items. So, yeah. A scarecrow here. Gives us some gold, and a lot of dead people rising. And we see some more, Need more time. them down here, but this tangling hands help me a lot. I you know, not get into trouble with them, and you have to fight from a distance. And they dropped some more stuff, some gloves here. And we got our first melee or range enemies here. Thick gloves, minor health potions, you see. 
A lot of loot is dropped already. And there we got a wretched mother. Needs we more tangle her down. Take her stuff. Okay, let's have a look in our inventory. You can see, got the pants here. Superior gloves, but they don't have any magic um, on them, so we'll just keep them. And yeah, that is a better armor than we have already. So you see, your character changes with the armor you equip, which is pretty neat. And the more epic you get, the more epic your character will look. Yeah, we have some some small small leg spikes here and there during the recording. Maybe you have to adjust some some of the settings, but looks pretty smooth. We're running the stable 60 frames per second here, which is nice. Okay, so the first area here is cleared, and you really have to look carefully. You don't want to miss anything. That is the thing here with Diablo always have a feeling you could miss anything and miss out on some good loot and yeah we're making more and more gold and approaching into the next area here always to take out those tree trunks and things like that have a close look smaller area here snare them good job the dead started to eat us while we slept they are everywhere run save yourself don't panic oh yeah this guy oh hand x question is now you know i have this crest of, of that assigned and yeah i cannot use my regular sword here you know it's just a stupid grasp of that thing on there not stupid but kind of limits my actions at the moment and i don't know how to change it i mean it's gonna be my blow dart my poison dart ah yeah and you can of course um use your poison dart while holding shift and then you can shoot it's really useful so shift is something you will need quite often if you play the witch doctor okay we got two wretched mother's kill which is a bonus and implementing shift really improves the gameplay here with the witch doctor there we got another one I am the yes sleep once more. we killed all the mothers and we got a new skill pretty cool let's grab all the stuff here and look on our inventory screen yeah a, bit, a little bit better magic gloves we take them and a shield we could equip at the moment well better than nothing um in the skills there's a new skill here you know sure throw a jar of corpse spiders that attack nearby enemies before dying well at the moment probably want to try it out just to see how it is we will see there's another cellar here. You should get in. The moment I cannot enter it for whatever reason. Normally you just walk up to it. Okay, there we go. This chest is empty. Did the creatures take the treasure? Oh, there's a unique guy. Needs more time. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> You throw in spiders and let them fight for you. Oh, that's cool. You tangle him. And then give him spiders. 
<laughs> That's pretty decent. Let's grab uh, all the stuff. That was the first yeah, rare encounter here. And soon our inventory um, will be filling up and we must go back to the town. Probably get rid of some of the things we have. Yet there are these small little leg spikes here and there. Don't know what causes them. But they are there. Let's have a look at the inventory. We found a sword um, and some more magic gloves. Other than that we got some cash on us. Later on you will be able to go back to town with a town portal. So you'll be able to easily sell your things. The market's there but at the moment we don't have it. Let's backtrack here a bit. Um, you can also yeah, open and close some of the panels here. But this is really cool. <laughs> Using the, the spiders. But you can bring your yeah, mini map up with, if you press tab, then you have it on the screen if you're searching for something really helpful. Have a closer look. And there's another one of these mother ones. Let's get our spiders in there. Let them do the work. Yeah, and this is the, basically a first taste of the gameplay of the witch doctor. It's about stopping people and letting your creatures do the work for you. Okay, we search this guy. Oh, Trisco. Diablo's evil lingers everywhere here. Yeah, it's all Trisco here. <laughs> Pretty cool with the spiders. Wow. Nice physics. And there's a certain objective we have to find. That's the wretched queen here. We need to watch our health a bit. to do it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. Man, an army of spiders, isn't that horrible? Horrible when you bring them in into the fight like that. Oh, that looks fun. I think I dig the gameplay of the Witch Doctor. Uh, still not 100% decided, but I think I will go for the Witch Doctor. It's my main character for my Let's Play. Looks, looks like fun. Looks like fun gameplay. And who doesn't want to throw Spiders and people, right? That's pretty cool, I have to say. Okay. Over there, we were able... Oh. Needs more time. You have to make sure you do it from a certain distance, you know, you cannot go a close water battle with the witch doctor, I'd say. He's really a distance guy. And those are those weapon racks you will come across ever so often. And here we are activate our force first portal. It's a waypoint. And yeah, now we could go back to New Tristram. And I want to quickly do that. And yeah, there's Captain Rumford. We could talk to him. There's our stash, but um, yeah. Quickly, just want to go to the merchant I worked my hands to the and the yeah, sell all this stuff good. we got on here. There's nothing special and we don't need it. Is there a quick way to sell things? Yeah. You can right click. Okay, let's get rid of that. 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 Oh no, I just, just sold what I had was wearing but it was not do good anyways okay gone okay so we got our first cash together it's we got 736 gold there's nothing much we could buy here yet and whenever you sell something you can get it back as long as you're at the same merchant which is pretty good and yeah, we can talk to Rumford. Thank you for your and help. And report. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. 
Well, we Nor should, should she. I will help her find him. Mm -hmm. Yes. We finished our first quest here. We received XP, gold, and it's time to move on. We should talk to Leah. What's Come, up next? Let us search for your uncle. Come. We'll need to open the cathedral first. Okay. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Okay. So next, we, get, we need to get to the to the hut of this. What was her name? Here, yeah. let me open the gate. Okay, we're making progress, and now we need Adria to find Adria. Adria was my mother, Adria's but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. Did you know your father? And I'm now, told he was a great warrior. First time he was lost we're fighting with a companion here. Leah is a, um, a ranged character, an archer, and you can access um, her and talk to her later on. I think she's a, some kind of special companion. You will be able to equip your companions with better gear and stuff, which is really useful. If you yeah, always can need some help. Always make sure to track back, look in these little dents and gaps. So we don't miss important stuff. And yeah, it's fast paced gameplay, making progress. Here's the hut, Adria's hut. And Look, a we hidden cellar. investigate. Follow me. There's a hidden cellar. First see if we can grab anything here. No. This no. is a place of power. Your mother hid her secrets here. People okay. said she was a witch, but I never believed it. So her mother was a witch, and she hid her secrets down there, so we checked it out. Ooh. Oh, that's a unique... Need more time. Yeah, it's quite some, some damage. Quick. Ah, we're frozen. Somebody froze us. Oh, a snare. Yes. Hey, it turns to me. You're wounded and need a potion? Well, yeah, you can just take one, but you will re recover health. Or life without taking potions, right? Will I recover? Moment doesn't look like it. Well, let's have a look at the inventory, and we found something. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that will help us to regenerate health, of course. Nothing special there, and now we should be regenerating health. Fairly useful. Of course, and let's have a look at this chest here. Mainly gold. Check out the barrels. Nothing going on, and let's talk to Leah. Let's Here's see. the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. Mm. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will find Deckard Kane. Stay here and study your mother's secrets. We may have need of them. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. Already <laughs> unfriendly welcome here on top. But we just throw spiders on it. How many are there? We throw spiders at them like a boss. All day long. So we need to continue. Go to the cathedral, right? There's a chest here we should have a look at. 
Nothing special, the one we have, life regeneration is way better, and we should move on. Now we're on the old Tristram, Tristram road, and oh, there's a mass grave we found on the way here, that looks interesting. If they come in close, you use your weapon. Does it looks like those are those small little dungeons, right? Yeah, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in this one. Alright. It was not there in the beta version we were able to play. This is Tristram Cathedral. And we the found it. Star lies within. Oh, what did we just find there? Nothing. Nothing special. Let's see. There's the cathedral. If we can make it round it a bit. Is there something back here? No. At the moment it's still closed off, so the only way to get in. It's that door. Get in there. Ooh. And yeah, this is where the rising star or falling star was hitting. This is where it goes down, this is where it starts. And we reach the cathedral level one.